Workout day. Iron body day at that. And I ain't got it in me. So uh, I'm gonna have to take one of my old man shakes. I'm gonna show you what I put in there. Days like this, you know, you can't rely on just food. And I'm fasting on top of that, so it's very difficult. You lose a lot of fat that way, but you don't have energy for the workout, so I take some supplements to offset that. And I've been doing that type of training for a while, so I know what I'm doing. I know a lot of people would be against taking supplements over food, but nowadays with the nutrients that's in food, do you really think you're getting the, the micro and macronutrients out of that food? Fake food, food that's been on the shelves, food that's been in trucks? Probably getting maybe 50% of what you think you're getting out of food. So you better find yourself some good supplements that you can trust, all right? There's seals on them, there's approval ratings and things like that. I'm gonna show you what I take in a second. <laughs> so, uh, here we go. Starting at the top. Little Mega Man multivitamins. You get all your micronutrients. And over here, whole food multivitamin. You got everything you need there. Heart, brain, prostate for health. Okay, all your support for all the wonderful stuff you need. Out of food, but unfortunately in a pill, vegetarian capsules. But this has everything. I mean, you'd have to eat carrots, broccolis, radishes, green beans, so much stuff to get what's in here, okay? And if, like I said, you think you're getting all of that out of the food that's in the supermarket now? No. As soon as I started taking supplements, I started seeing an increase in mass. Right? You ain't getting that out of just food, okay? I still eat three times a day, but I have two shakes a day on top of that, okay? And a day like today, especially now I'm fasting for the next the rest of the month, I'm not gonna be having all those carbs from the food. So I have to make sure that my protein intake is correct so that I don't lose muscle mass, but I wanna still have energy. So you have to cheat a little bit with some of these supplements that are caffeine oriented, give you a little bit of jitters and things like that. They're only for uh, extreme workout type of situations, which I do. And I wouldn't really recommend them for everyone because you, you know, have high blood pressure, a little bit of jitters, maybe not too great for your heart. But at my age of 52 years old, it's very difficult to just get up and have the intensity that you need, the motivation and the drive to get in the gym on a rainy day. So on a day like today, I don't take them all the time. I've got these supplements that help me out, all right? So far... <laughs> The Mega Man multivitamin, right? But we have now beetroot. I mean, this has everything in it from nitric oxide to circulatory and stamina support, libido support, okay? Brain support as well. Down over here, we have another amino acids. You get what I'm trying to tell you how important aminos are? Okay, these are pre-digested. They quickly get absorbed into your system. Unlike protein powder, it has to break down over the course of time. So that's what pre workouts are for. Um, they have pre-digested amino acids, the essential amino acids you don't get from the other because those are the other two, 22 amino acids that you can get out of anything, right? These are the ones that you don't get from like food and things like that that you might not be eating right. So at least now you're covered, okay? So down here we have creatine. Okay, again, that's another thing that you get from food, but if you have not been eating properly and it's not stored up in your muscles, you're gonna gas out. You're not gonna have the power to put up that bench, okay? Then we have I am God. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't feel any piousness when I take it, but um, definitely energy. I mean, you take that stuff for 30 seconds to a minute, you're like, <laughs> you'll see. And then uh, again, another one underneath. Amino build next generation clinically dosed with energy. So I take a half a scoop of the I am God and half the amino, one scoop of creatine, one scoop of the perfect amino, one scoop of the beetroot, 
and Mega Man. Back here, this is just vitamin code. It's another whole food source of everything in you. Raw food in a pill. Okay, this is raw whole food multivitamin. Okay. These right here are basically just bodybuilder stuff. I won't be ordering them again. Again, just jittery stuff for energy. I get what I need out of the I Am God, and then I'm going to have all that other stuff in my shake as well. The strawberries and blueberries, the antioxidants, the little juice and the water in there. And wow, all those bananas and strawberries, awesome. So uh, that's my old man shake, okay? But as you can see, oh, 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 what's that? What's that? Woo! Yes, sir. Okay, we're gonna get busy today, but I had to cheat a little bit. But you see, I'm honest with you. Those personal trainers and guys, they're all skinny and stuff, and they're jumping around. And they're just, I don't know what they're taking, but that's not normal. Okay, real people struggle with body weight. Real people struggle with diet. Okay, and you have to find your way. And unfortunately, in today's world, we're not getting what we need out of food. So you have to start finding supplements and your balance of food and your days that you eat and don't eat. I fast three days out of the week, two days real heavy, one day not so much, and the other days I eat what I want, okay? And it's working out great for me. I'm putting on muscle size, I'm reducing fat, and now I'm in my last stages of getting rid of that little 15 pounds of stubborn looseness on the body, okay? And uh, that's what today's about, is a power workout day. I don't want to worry about bodybuilding. I want functionality. I want to be able to run through a wall. You know, in today's day and age, you might just have to do something like that. So I want functionality. I don't want to just look good. So I'm not going to be all bodybuilding cut up, but I'm going to have a certain amount of cut, but more size and power, right? I have a 400 pound heavy bag that I use as a medicine ball, and I train extremely for extreme results. Now we're gonna get that shake on, all right? Time to make this shake. Got some orange juice. Three bananas that I let brown just right. You know, when you let a banana brown, you get a lot more nutrients out of it. You just peel a banana when it's fresh, you're not gonna get any of that juiciness and all those nutrients that start percolating. It starts getting all brown on the outside. You see the inside maybe has some brown spots. That's when all the sugars and all the nutrients have just decided to really come out and almost starts bleeding out of the banana. So they have different stages that you want to eat them at. And I have one fresh one in here. You can see the colors. And two brown ones, okay? Cause I like the fresh taste, you know. But uh, the brown ones have all the stuff you really need in there. So we're gonna throw these in there. You know I have the ninja. I just throw these suckers right in there, and this baby just takes care of me. All right. I would test it out with all these strawberries too, but with my luck. I'm not breaking my ninja on virus pandemic times. Almost made like brown sugar out of it. Alright, and we got my strawberries here. These suckers. Size of these babies. Putting the ninja to the test today. Bunch of blueberries. Let's be nice too. We don't gotta be a jerk, right? Let's give it a little juice to help it along, man. So loud too. Get up close on that.
now we're going to add my powders. I already showed you the powders before, the uh, pre-digested amino acids. These are amino acids, but they're in protein form, so you're not going to digest these for a couple of hours. That's why pre-digested is good for immediate absorption, okay? Have those at nighttime before bed. They work out quicker because now you're sleeping and not the digestion isn't happening so much. So at least now you can have something that's a protein shake before bed, but not one of these. Because it's going to take two, three hours to start working. You're sleeping. So pre-digested before workout and before you go to bed. And for it to last, I'm going to put protein powder in it as well. So that the first two hours that I work out, the pre-digested amino acids take care of that. By that time, my digestive system will have kicked in and starts absorbing this stuff, okay? Little trick, I'm a nutritionist and a personal trainer and also a certified chef, okay? So these are little tricks you have to have because protein powder, if you was to take this and work out for an hour, you're not going to get any of this for like two, three hours later. So it's not going to help you out. Even an energy bar, you eat a protein bar, you've got to digest that. Digestion is half an hour, 45 minutes, then it goes into the digestion, absorption into the body. It takes a while. If you don't have something that's quickly absorbed, you're not going to get a benefit of it for your workout, okay? So now we're going to throw the, I already put a scoop in before. Here's another scoop of the protein powder. And here's the beetroot and the pre-digested aminos so that I can enjoy them now. Then we're going to stand back. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I don't treat it too good, right? Well, we like to work out here. Get out a little more water and I'll stretch it out. my shake for today yep you have to watch me drink it that's delicious